Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day and I'm here today to discuss the latest JW broadcasting for October 2023 where Jehovah's Witness are asked from the governing body, they are commanded from the governing body to start getting ready for this final message that they will have to deliver to people around the world right before the end. But everything is a big mess. They don't exactly tell you when this message will start what this message will be about and how it will be delivered to will be delivered to people around the world. So before be, 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 we don't, I don't want to be confused in any way. I want to read you a couple of verses before we play these clips, so we know what we're dealing with. Okay. So when I was growing up as Jehovah's Witness, I knew a verse very well, which I'm sure, if you're a witness, you know also well, because it was one of the th main verses Jehovah's Witnesses were instructed to learn and deliver even at the doors. And it's the famous Matthew 24, 14, and that's the commission Jehovah's Witnesses think they have, and they have to deliver to people, okay? So it says there, and this good news of the kingdom will be preached in all the inhabited earth for a witness, to all the nations and then the end will come now when you enter the, the, the chapter matthew 24 is all about the signs of the end the end has not come yet but jehovah's witnesses believe that the end started in 1914 so all the signs have been here so therefore since all the signs have been here they are actually the only ones who deliver this message of the the good news of the kingdom right uh, that will be placed in all the inhabited earth. But we know this is not true. 1914 is a date that was established from Charles Days Roosevelt based on pyramidology, who even later on the magazines, the Watchtower said it was a satanic idea. So if you don't believe it, go read yourselves. Um, but what is the real commission of Jesus Christ ask his disciples to uh, take on? Okay, it is a different one. And I found that out after I left the witnesses. And it is found in Matthew 24, in the same gospel of Matthew 20, I'm sorry, 28. And the final words, when Jesus Christ was departing in heavens, he was ascending into heaven. Before he ascended to heavens, he told his disciples to do that for the following 2,000 years. And it says there in the last three verses, 18 to 20, Jews approached and spoke to them saying, all authority has been given me in heaven and on the earth go therefore and make disciples of people of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit teaching them to observe all the things i have commanded you and look i'm with you all the days until the conclusion of the system of things so what's the commission is a double-edged commission isn't it you have you make you have to go out to make disciples okay of people of all the nations and then baptize them okay the second part baptize them in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit now jehovah's witnesses have failed on both counts on this command first of all because they never make people disciples of christ they make them followers of jehovah and the second one is they don't baptize in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit and if you are watching my videos for the first time go back to your uh, publications and find the exact wording that Jehovah's Witness is using to baptize people and it isn't in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Uh, so that is the commission we as Christians have to deliver this message for the past 2000 years. We were never asked, we were never asked to deliver Matthew 24, 14. It isn't for us. Would you like me to prove it to you? Uh, and that's what the Watchtower is doing. They say, oh, we, our heart hitting message is like hailstones from heaven, which is relevant really. And it, they don't really understand Revelation prophecy. So this is uh, in Revelation, uh, it says that the ones who deliver the message, the final message, right? At the time of the end, they are not called Jehovah's Witnesses. Uh, would you like the proof from that? Straight out of the New World Translation. And it says there, uh, 
in verse 17, Revelation 12, 17, uh, it says, So the dragon, which of course is Satan, uh, became enraged at the woman, which is God's organization, okay, and went off to wage war with the remaining ones of her offspring, who observe the commandments of God and have the work of bearing witness concerning Jesus. Having walk about what? Bearing witness about Jesus. <laughs> it's, it's in the actual name. Jehovah's Witness are bearing witness about Jehovah. And the witnesses about Jesus are bearing witness about Jesus. So Jehovah's Witness cannot be the witnesses for Jesus. They don't talk about Jesus. They ignore Jesus. They have nothing to do with this final message. And to be honest with you, it isn't something that you take on you. It's something that is given to you during the time of the end. Not everyone will be delivering this final message. Uh, in actual fact, if you go in Matthew, in chapter 24, right before the verse I read you about the goodness of the kingdom that will be preached in all the inhabited earth, it says there will be many prophets, false prophets, delivering a false message. How can you tell the difference? It's only people who have been commissioned by the Holy Spirit to carry on this witnessing, this final witnessing during the time of the end. As it was in the days of Jesus Christ, when the Holy Spirit commissioned Jesus Christ and his apostles, at the same time, it will be the same during the time of the end. Now, having that in mind, uh, let's watch the clips that the Watchtower has prepared for us for JTAMW Broadcasting for 2023. And we will have a couple of words at the end of these clips to say about what they're trying to really do with the rank and file, how they're trying to rile them into this false and imminent fervor of the time of the end. Now watch these clips and let, let's see what happens at the end of them. Okay. Do you sometimes worry, though, how people might react, especially to a stronger judgment message? Facing this fear is not new. God's people in ancient and modern times have dealt with it too. In the following demonstration, let's see what one brother is moved to do after meditating on their examples. Good morning. Sorry, I was running a little behind this morning, but at least I come bearing gifts. Oh, uh, no worries. Thank you. I could really use it today. Were you uh, also thinking about that announcement about the special preaching campaign? Yeah. Yeah, I was. Don't take what I'm going to say the wrong way, but don't you think the message we'll be preaching is pretty harsh? No, I wouldn't say that, but it's definitely very direct. I mean, people already get defensive whenever you challenge their beliefs, and this is going to be next level. This isn't going to be the easiest message to deliver but you know it's not the first time we've done this really absolutely i don't know if you remember me telling you that my family's originally from quebec and my dad was part of an incredibly hard-hitting witness back in the 40s i looked this up last night he had to distribute a tract that called out the local religious leaders as hypocrites what were they doing they were inciting their followers to mob violence against the witnesses, telling them to vandalize our properties, even getting brothers falsely arrested and imprisoned. Wow. And they had to distribute that tract during the violence? They had to. Jehovah wanted to show how unjust their actions were. But I remember my dad telling me, he said that initially, he was pretty terrified. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel. I'm... I'm terrified. 
It's normal to feel that way. I've been thinking about it myself. And I thought of an account in Exodus. It's, uh, it's where Moses tells the Israelites to splatter the blood of a ram on their doorposts in order to avoid the effects of the last plague. And I thought about how some of the Israelites might have felt about doing that back then. That's all Moses told us. And everyone has to do this. Every family. Rams are sacred to the Egyptians. Yeah, this would be an affront to Amon Ra. How are the Egyptians going to react? I know I've, I've thought about that too. Does Moses know what he's asking us to do? Brothers, I, I don't know if we have anything to worry about. We don't have anything to fear. Think of how Jehovah's protected us with these last legs. And as for the blood, it's not a matter of offending them. It's a matter of protecting us. It's showing whose side we're on. Jehovah's side. Looking back, what the Israelites did was actually good news. It meant their deliverance. And it's the same with any message we bear today. Let me show you one of my favorite scriptures. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 10. It says, Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Do not be anxious, for I am your God. I will fortify you. Yes, I will help you. I will really hold on to you with my right hand of righteousness. The fear we feel is natural. But remember, Jehovah was with the Israelites. He was with my dad. And he will be with us. The message we are sharing is good news. So you see, the problem is here that um, he is lost in time, this guy, isn't it? He's standing there right next to the cart and he thinks even the smallest weird uh, look from another uh, person in that station will cause a persecution. So if this is the case, then... Uh, how are these people going to cope during the time of the end when supposedly they will have to deliver this final message to the nations? They won't. And that's the whole point of the exercise. Uh, this final message is something that is uh, not meant to be delivered by Jehovah's Witnesses because they simply can't cope in good times. How are they going to cope in difficult times when they have to deliver this message. That's impossible. And I want to go straight also on the second clip where he, the word star was using the example of Moses and the last plague where the Israelites had to sprinkle their doorposts, right, with the blood of the rams. Now, I'm sorry, it's like comparing apples with oranges. On one hand, you have the final message, right? We have to preach to the nations. And on the other hand, the supposed example from the Old Testament is just uh, an instruction for safety. An instruction is for safety is nothing to do with witnessing to the nations. So maybe you can make the case that Moses delivered a message to uh, Pharaoh and the Egyptians during the ten plagues. But not the Israelites. The Israelites, they were just following instructions delivered to them by Moses. So... In these both accounts, in these two accounts, basically, these examples that the Ghost Tower is setting to all, to all 9 million Jehovah's Witnesses, I think they are wrong and deluded. And of course, that goes to back what I said earlier. If you have time, go do your research and you find out that there are no Jehovah's Witnesses running around during the time of the end. Uh, there will only be witnesses for Jesus, which... I know people who take it upon themselves to deliver the message is something that is given to them by the Holy Spirit, like was given to the disciples by Jesus Christ 
during the first century. So with that in mind, I'm coming to the end of this video. But before I go, it has transpired the past few hours that apparently the Watchtower has now d done away with uh, reporting uh, publishers' hours like they have done for the past, uh, I don't know, six, 70, 60, 70 years. Isn't that interesting that as we're heading towards the end, it becomes less, less and less important for Jehovah's Witnesses to report hours. So if this is really the final message we have to preach, why now all of a sudden this lack of transparency and lack of interest towards the hours that the publishers had to spend for so, almost all their lives. People, I mean, people in their 40s and their 50s like myself, I had to do that all my life for 50 years. I had to report hours and now that's all gone away. Uh, but we will spend more time during the time of the, the week going through this announcement and what uh, ramifications this announcement has for uh, all Jehovah's Witnesses around the world. So with that in mind, please like and subscribe, press the button after the video and I shall speak to you soon. Take care. Bye for now. Thank you.